Hi everybody, this is Bridget of Ebony Ladies in the DR. So we are at Blue Mall Punta Cana and you see they are in the holiday spirit. So all throughout the mall is just decorated very pretty for the Christmas holiday. So you can enjoy all the Christmas lights, the music. So it's a really good atmosphere. So if you decide to come out to Blue Mall Punta Cana, you can come out, enjoy the holidays. A lot of activities will be going on. I'll post some things on the Ebony Ladies in the DR website as well as Ebony Ladies in the DR Instagram. So don't forget every Thursday, Thursday 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. As you can see, Punta Cana Village is all about Christmas. Today is a Christmas market, just like in the U.S. They have tons of vendors, lots of really nice things to see and buy. So you are in the Punta Cana area. It's going to be another weekend before the holidays. So it is a lot of fun. I never thought that an island country went all out for the holidays i don't know why that was just me thinking warm weather they didn't deck it out for the holidays but they do so we are at Punta Cana village enjoying the holiday market so we'll go around and get some pictures so you can see some of the vendors so i am really sharing Punta Cana with all of our viewers This is my first holiday season in my new home here in Punta Cana and I am just amazed at how beautiful everything is here. The holiday decorations, the vibe, the, the feeling of love and togetherness. There are families everywhere, little kids, and it's kind of late in the evening and there are kids everywhere. Everybody's having dinner, just having a great time. So I am very happy to be spending my first holiday day on the island so if you're thinking about coming to the Dominican Republic for the holidays hey I give it two thumbs up you're gonna see so many Christmas decorations I'm gonna try to share with you as much as I can but right now Devlin and I are getting ready to go enjoy some ice cream because it is uh, about 85 degrees here in Punta Cana so um, Cheers to all those with their sweaters and their Uggs on. I'm in my sandals and I'm ready to go change into some flip-flops and shorts. But enjoy the holidays. We'll talk to you soon. share guess what today is merry merry christmas eve merry christmas eve everybody so this is our first christmas eve here in the dominican republic i'm excited to be here i hope everybody is getting ready for a beautiful christmas day tomorrow hope everybody's already eating and chopping and and getting ready for their sweet potato pies or their pumpkin pie you know whatever uh you do on christmas eve but here in the Dominican, I'm going to share some things with you. It's a little bit different than the United States. But first, I have to say, um, I am missing my church because I know there's going to be a fabulous service tomorrow. So a big kiss to everybody at Southwest Community Christian Center, Houston, Texas, on Bel Air Boulevard. So hi, Reverend Patrick and everybody there in Houston. So now on Christmas Eve in the Dominican Republic is the day for the big 
Christmas dinner. So in the Dominican Republic, they have their big Christmas dinner on Christmas Eve. So their thinking is on Christmas Day, they eat the leftovers for lunch, but that gives everybody a chance to just relax, enjoy the day, take their time, lay out, watch some soccer, you know, and just enjoy family. That way no one is in the kitchen cooking and missing out on all that is Christmas, which is family and getting together. So I gotta tell you what's on the menu for traditional Dominican dinner. Here. So you got a pork roast, which is a perco asado, and then you got rice with pigeon peas. That's a moro de guandulas, potato salad, ensalada rosa, and la telera. It's a special kind of Dominican bread. That's where these thighs are coming from. Dominicans got the best bread. And muchos pasteles. So everybody know that's a whole lot of cake. So Dominican traditional Christmas dinner. So if you're in the, in the, in the States and you're Dominican, I know you're already preparing your one more time, your pork roast, your rice with pigeon peas, your potato salad, your special bread, and a whole lot of cake. I've been sharing with you all a little bit about Dominican culture, Dominican, Dominican traditions. So I'm going to share just a little bit more with you. So we do fireworks primarily um, on the 4th of July in the U.S. and again on New Year's. Well, Dominican, it is New Year's Eve and Christmas Day all out for fireworks so we're going to be taking a look at fireworks on the now, beach moving on to some more dominican traditions so it is called un angelito un angelito un angelito is called the little angel and it is a traditional exchange of gifts so what they do here in the dominican republic is your family you all put your names in a bag and then everybody draws names so the person's name that you get, you have to give them a gift every week in the month of December and it ends on Christmas Day. So and then you don't reveal, they don't reveal who had whose name until that very last gift is passed out. So it's one gift for each family member. So you can see here in the Dominican, not a lot of money is spent on gifts. So you get one person a gift a week four gifts for one person that sounds like a plan to me that might be something i'm going to try to bring back and implement with my family in the united states but who knows but that's how it goes here in the dominican republic and the last thing i want to share with you all tonight is it's called dia de los reyes dia de los reyes that is the day of the kings so if you didn't know in the Dominican Republic, the children do not get gifts on Christmas Day. That's why they do their big dinner celebration Christmas Eve. Christmas Day, they have the lunch of the leftovers from the night before. Everybody pack up, go to the beach, La Playa. So you will see tons of Dominicans and their families just laying out on the beach, celebrating, enjoying being together, being thankful for their family and being happy. The children are not even thinking about Christmas gifts, but they do get Christmas gifts on the Dia de los Reyes, Day of the Kings. So on that day, the kids, before they go to bed, they put water and grass underneath the tree for the camels. So once the camels pass by, then the children go to bed and they get their gifts on the next day. So Dia de los Reyes is on January the 5th. So kids here don't get Christmas gifts until January the 5th. So in America, they get them on December 25th. They usually have already destroyed the toys from December 25th. And so there was a whole lot of waste of money. But the kids here get them on January the 5th. So those are some of the differences between the U.S. celebrating Christmas and the Dominican Republic celebrating Christmas. And as the day goes on or the night goes on or even maybe tomorrow, I'll share with you a little bit more. But I am here at Cocotel. This is the clubhouse in my subdivision on the golf course. The tree is amazing, so I had to make sure to come out, check out the tree, and show it to you all. So again, Merry Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas in advance to you all tomorrow. I hope that everyone has a wonderful day. Thank God for all of your blessings, all of your family that's here, and just enjoy.
Mwah.